Greetings, Minecrafters. Non-Sanity here. And welcome back to my Resident Rise 3 Let's Play series. This is episode 5. Well, I've been doing some work off camera. Just making machines, setting things up. Um, got a few more machines in here. I've got a uh, induction smelter and a redstone furnace. I moved the alloy smelter down and replaced it with a faster redstone furnace so that it can keep up with uh, very upgraded uh, enrichment chamber here. So I currently gave it up just a bunch of... Oh, I guess it's finished. Wow, it's already finished. Gave it a couple of stacks of iron ore. The uh, digital miner is out in the mining age getting me more iron with a little chunk loader next to it. I've worked on the mob grinder down here. I went out in my boat and I went to one of those pirate ships and I used cardboard boxes to bring back six zombie spawners. And uh, so when I'm, when I'm standing here, we've got mobs. Oh, yeah, you like that? It's uh, drawbridges with like a glowstone in each one. That's being controlled through the wall here. I think I have this set to fast. Yeah, slow it down a little bit. Yeah, this uh, switch has just got some of this red alloy wire runs around to the backs and goes up up across the uh, top one and then down the other side here to two more close that off and this this power line is just coming from the main system running underground here to the, uh, well, it will eventually. Right now it's just going to the grinder. It'll eventually go down here to the auto spawner, which still I haven't turned on. But I have been collecting mob essence. Got uh, 190 buckets of it in a bedrockium drum using some of my compressed cobblestone and a whole lot of diamond. I mean, just one of these things uses six bedrockium ingots. And each ingot takes a block of diamond. <laughs> so they're expensive, but they hold a lot. Yeah, while I'm standing here, we get the mobs. How nice the grinder can actually reach the center there. Now, because some of them are the uh, super mobs, I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of armor, some books, and every now and then an ender pearl or blaze powder. Or I think even blaze rods once. If I'd known that, I would have done this long ago. Saved myself a trip to the nether. But it's working. It's getting me plenty of mob essence. Later I can have these all running concurrently, though I'll probably need to put a uh, another grinder on. And I also want to get some, uh, do the um, activation ritual for the sigil and get some uh, cursed earth. You put cursed earth under a vanilla spawner and it'll run when you're not there. So that'll provide plenty of mob essence and I don't have to worry about using a soul gem. But I think we do have soul gem do we yeah we do soul shards so yeah this works it's fairly basic and not fully assembled yet I haven't been able to I haven't seen an enderman in a while I've got a uh, a um, safari ball in my backpack so I'm ready to go out and capture one, but just haven't seen one yet. Now if you notice here, I've got a hole. The reason why I needed all the iron 
and uh, the the wood that I got from the wood, uh, tree farm burnt up into charcoal, and then that's been burnt up into graphite more than enough. <laughs> Because I need better power than those windmills. So down here, I'm in the process of assembling a big reactor. And I think I've got the last of the parts I need. Now this isn't a maximum efficiency reactor. Uh, oops. Or, you know, anything really special. It's not bad, but it's not a super one. It's my glass. Let's turn this into regular glass. So, I mean, it's, it's, it'll do pretty good. I think once I put, um, I'm doing that wrong. Once I put a liquid ender in here, and that one, of course, I didn't catch. I miss not being able to fly. There we go. And more glass. Nope, not the glass. This glass. Yeah, I think I only need like 16 buckets of liquid ender. But before I can do that, I'm definitely going to need to. Um, oops. Ah. Definitely going to need to capture an enderman in a safari ball so I can uh, spawn lots of them. So it's going to take a lot to. Uh, get that many ender pearls to fill this thing up. Alright. So except for filling it up with coolant and putting in the last 16 pieces of reluctor glass, this looks done. Oh, and uh, switch that one over to output. I even have uh, these two things here, which, let's configure them. This one is energy, active while below, say 90%, commit. And this one is powered, set from signal. So this will turn the reactor on as long as the power level is below 90. As soon as it passes 90, It'll shut off the reactor. It'll keep producing power for a little bit. I could probably set it a little higher than 90. But at some point, it'll, as it cools off, it'll completely fill. And then you're wasting a little bit of energy. So. Okay. So now it's just down to the ender. Oh, it's nighttime. Let's let's go hunting. Check some of that. Oh, not that. Check that away. Get my safari ball out. And go hunting. I'm also going to grab. I did manage to kill ah, a goat, a spirit. Got a piece of ectoplasm. So now I always have an emergency out. In case I get in over my head. I'm also wearing some enchanted blast protection, feather falling too. Which will help a little bit. Oh, okay, it's just the one I'm doing. There's a brain down in there. <laughs> hmm. This is again when flying would come in handy. And there's a uh, glitch up there. Let's uh, function F3A. Oh, there we go. Yep, hold down function 3 and A. And that reloads everything. 
Found some emeralds here, which is nice. And one time while I was down in the mines in the mining age, but it was coming back from my my uh, pocket dimension, which you can get to with this key. Yeah, let me show you. If you hold down the key and wait for a little bit, and then as soon as you get there, switch away from the key. There. It takes you to a little pocket dimension. You can just sort of barely see it's got a cube here. I built that in it. That is so that I can escape. If I use the key again, it takes me right back to where I started. Let's say I was lost in the nether. I could come here, go through that, and then it's just a 2,000 block walk home through the mining age. Well, that'll take me to the overworld. Go through it again on the other side to go into the mining age, and then it's just a straight shot 2,000 blocks away. It's a long walk. I did it once. But uh, it will get me out of wherever I'm stuck. So it's not a bad thing. Oh, I see some. Where are they? I see them on the radar. It's one of those red creepers. Concussion creepers. They don't drop anything good. No Enderman. I need an Enderman. Let's see if there's any of them lurking about still here. No. Alright, I'll have to wait for darkness again. some point there'll be one. I mean, even if there's a blood moon, that'll be okay. It's the nice thing about Endermen is you can look at them and they'll come to you. So I can stay in a protective location, like just inside my door, and look around for an Enderman until I see one. Now, uh, look at this. <laughs> Lots of floating wood. Seems like there was a fire somewhere around here. The last time I was here, this whole forest was burning. Thankfully, it's gone out, but let's kill this king slime here. Oh, just give me wither. <laughs> and my feather fall helped. This guy is a super one. What is he? Oh, couldn't see. It'll be in the uh, replay. That's pretty good. King Slime Scythe. Hmm. I'll have to give it a try. Fiery Aura, Protection 2. I got a Creeper Heart. And a red and a yellow. Hearts, miniature hearts, not bad. It's always worth killing the sl uh, sl king slimes that fall from the island up there. Why he was over here, I don't know. Maybe he doesn't fall from the island. Maybe he's just randomly spawning. Ooh, what is that? Some sort of... Not attacking me. Oh, now he is. Eldritch Guardian. Did he just explode? <laughs> that was weird. I guess I got him. Ethereal Essence. Hmm. Okay. Probably it's something to do with Thomcraft, because I got this thing here. Just cool looking. But I know that that, I think, is like a... Oh, it's another one. E. 
Let me eat something. Oh, he's he's on me. Where is he? I'm gonna die. That was close. <laughs> I guess I'll stay away from that spot. My armor does not protect me from those guys. That's just cool. Crags are pretty cool. Get tired of this color after a while, but. Nice. <laughs> You know, I haven't dealt with Featherfall very often. Let's Featherfall 2. Yeah, it still take damage. Maybe I can increase that. Because I do have Featherfall, right? Yeah, Featherfalling 2. And there's the horse. He just likes to swim. I'm going to take you. I'm not going to keep you. I'm just going to move you to a fenced off area near my house. Why not? For that, I'll have to build some fences. I think a slime fell here. <laughs> now I'm meaning to clear this. Just give me a better view. There we go. And let's build a fence. And it's going to be a very small fence. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I took away your freedom. Oh, don't be sad. Yeah, cheer up. I'll feed you later. For now, you can just live there. And starve. You can eat the grass, you're okay. Alright, well, I'll come back when it's time to get some uh, Endermen again. When it's night. Because I need those Ender Pearls. So I'll be back in a bit. Alright, it's nighttime again. I'm going to try another method. Cover more ground. Get more mobs spawning and despawning. Hopefully I can get a, an Enderman to show up. So I'll drive along, or I'll boat along the coast here. Watching the radar for...
too. Papa, over here. No, don't jump in the water. Haha, <laughs> I got him. He is mine. He is back there. Ha <laughs> ha. Just as the sun came up, I got one. And make sure he's in there. Enderman, yay! All right. The sailing trip was a success. At the last possible moment, there goes the sun. All right, let's head on back and plug him into the system. It's Ender Pearl time. See you in a moment. All right, time to hook up that guy, the auto spawner. It's going to need some power. So run that up. And it's going to need some of the mob essence. So I've got some pressurized fluid conduit here. There's the bottom of the drum. And that will be an extract. So this machine should now have essence. And it's got power. So it'll start doing mobs now, but now I want to get the items out of it. Oh, really? I ran out? <laughs> Alright, let me run back. Get another bit. How do you... What's the recipe for that? Oh, that's right. You need... Ender Pearl. Well, I'll go ahead and I'll use one of the ones I've got. It's worth it for this. And that is like that, I think. Okay. It's processing. There we go. Convert it to nuggets. There we go. Plenty. I use a lot of it, so. Now I can go like that. Oh, there. Let's say this is insert. All right, it's time. Get me some Enderman. Can I see it now? There we go. Enderman. Enderman, Enderman. Well, maybe I... There's the first Enderman. Got two, three. It's working. Four. noisy, but I'm getting into pearls. Well, I got some blaze powder, too, from something. I think it's time to get this out of there. Sweet. Alright. I can leave that running for a bit. Let it use up some of the uh, ender, uh, the liquid essence that I've built up away my excess things blaze powder and that can go in there 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 so now I'm gonna need let's see I need 16 buckets so I need a full I need 64 ender pearls so uh oh let's mute that <laughs> That's noisy. Uh, let's see, what was the recipe for that sound block? Note block, okay. So we need redstone around some wood. Note block. <clears throat> I need some wool. 
Hopefully I've got some. I may not. I may have used it for string. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm melting down ender pearls here. And I made a hardened tank to put them in. I need 16 buckets. And this thing can hold twice that, so it's perfect for my needs. Starting to run low on power, though. Though I brought this thing back. It had completely drained the ultimate energy cube. That was a lot of power. I think because it had a completely full inventory of iron ore. But once it was full, I think it was still pulling power. So it just drained it. And this thing is processing it all now. I've been slowing it down just to use less power. We're still going down, aren't we? Yep. I really need the power, that's for sure. Yeah, soon this won't be able to run. Ah, yeah, it's already slowing down. <clears throat> and we're not even halfway there yet. Yeah, let's just completely disable this thing. Uh, Alright, how are we doing now? Ah, now the power's going back up. That was the problem. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back when this is full. Okay, it's time to fill this sucker up. So let's start placing the coolant in. Something's teleporting. Must have had some drops down there I wasn't aware of. Oops, I forgot the uh, glass to close it up. I put that in here. There it is. So this side is done. Can be sealed. Definitely hearing teleports though. Oh, did I have torches down in there? That could have been it. All right. Let's break that. Now all it needs is fuel. It's ready to go. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. And let's go over the regular crafting table here for this. Uranium block. That's not what I thought it would make. I hope it's going to take that. Oh, crap. Crap. It doesn't like it. Can I uncraft it? Oh, it goes to uranium now. Well, bugger. Uh, that was nine stacks of eulorium. Should have made a eulorium block. Like that. Well, crap. I don't even see the recipe for making... Oh, there it is. So we have shapeless crafting and shaped IC2 crafting. Oh, great. Can I turn that back into Eulorium? Doesn't look like it. Uh, 
<laughs> well, it's great if you want to do uh, IC2 uh, power, because that is difficult to get otherwise. And I just made it out of Eulorium, accidentally, in a very large quantity. I'm just glad it's not poisoning me right now. Oh well. Gotta chalk that up as a loss. I'm gonna go stick it over here with my iridium. And I guess I'll just have to give it regular ingots. Poop. All right, well, it's powered up. Oh, it's already powered on. <laughs> Did I do that? Oh, no, the, this turned it on. Yep, 15K RF per tick. 15,000. And a little bit. And when this hits 90%, it should turn off. And it starts cooling off, and wow, it peaked before it ran out. So I guess I need to turn that down a little bit. Uh, make it 85. All right. Now, uh, no, not this way. I'm going to do a Tesseract. Time to make some tesseracts. I'll be right back. This stuff is hard to get. I haven't found any anywhere else, I don't think. But I made cinnabar, which gives me a hundred percent chance off of ferrosaur to get a shiny ingot. Now this is made by taking cinnabar and enriching it with gelid cryotheum. You make jelly cryotheum by melting cryotheum dust. You make cryotheum dust by combining blizz powder with niter, snowball, and redstone. You get blizz powder without blizzes. You can take snowballs and enrich them with redstone. So I did all that. And it worked. I've got eight shiny. And when I get more ferrous or I'll be able to do that. So now I can grind this shiny up. Yeah, I needed pulverized silver, pulverized tin, and pulverized shiny to go with my liquid enderium. Which I keep saying, just resonant ender. I don't know where I get liquid enderium. Lamp of cinders. So, more ender pearls. Well, no, I got the stuff right here. I don't need to do that. Two buckets. Bump, bump. Let's mix it all together. Oh, need to get these. So, silver. Let's use a regular crafting table. I need to clean out my crafting bag. Silver, two tin, shiny, that. There we go. Just bring this over. Save me the walking. All right, I'm going to continue along with this process, and I'll be right back. All right, so I made the frames out of fused quartz and enderium ingots. Filling them up now. So I'll have to put this bucket back. Oop. That was weird. Update issue. Thought I had enough. 
All right, the next step is to surround them with bronze and silver. Check how much bronze I've got. Should have a bit. Not in here. Not in any of those. Let's go over here. Here we go. I only have ten. I need more. Silver. Not in here. Alright, let me make up some more of that. Egads, what happened? I crashed, and when I had logged back in again, I think I've got too many Endermen. Oh, this thing's jammed up. Ugh. What a mess. Definitely need to get better storage here. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to leave this running, that's for sure. Oy. Uh, <laughs> Are you guys pulling pieces of the wall out? I hope not. Hope you're just spawning in with those blocks. Okay. Trash can. Smooth stone chest. And of course, I don't have any smooth stone on me. How many are in there? Whoa, about 200. And that's after it's been killing a bunch. Eesh. I'm glad I logged back on again. <laughs> It's three in the morning, but I log back on again. I'm really glad I did. All right, this is the last one. My test racks are now locked and ready to use. All right, so first step, break this. Stick on a test rack. Private. Send and receive. Start it up. I guess I can connect that back up now. Let's put this. There, it's going to charge. No. Oh no, it's full. So I don't know if it's going to charge. Well, we'll just leave it there for now. Should charge there. And now all the rest of this power stuff, right here, another Tesseract, everything should now be powered. Well, I definitely have Ender Pearls now. <laughs> Definitely have plenty of ender pearls. For the time being. I'll want more later. But for now, that's pretty good. Alright, so I can put these away. These aren't too useful. Uh, I'll just trash them. Well, it's even... Well, it's projectile. This is blast. I don't know. Which is better? Well, this one's unbreaking, too. It wins. Alright. <laughs> it's off. I can go to bed now. <laughs> Alright. Well... I'm going to wrap this episode up now.
now that I've got power the anywhere, I can take this thing in a tesseract and go anywhere and run it as long as I like. So that's wonderful. My power is set for a good long time. It's only 15,000 RF per tick. Um, I will need more eventually. But I won't improve this until I'm ready to go to a turbine. Powering a turbine, this has to be taller. Um, has to be wider by two in every direction. Well, I need not three, but four outward on each side. And then as tall as I want to make it. That will be a different design for another day. So thanks for watching. This is Nonsanity. My Resident Rise 3 Let's Play series, episode 5. Like, subscribe, as they always say. All right, well, this is Nonsanity signing out. Be good, take care, see you next time.